Boom, there we go, that's everything installed. Now, the easiest way I found just to install that, literally, was to install it. Um, and I have in the past had it where um, my content failed, you know? If you ever get that, make sure that your bandwidth isn't being limited. Make sure you go in the menu settings here um, under the general uh, tab and make sure that your bandwidth under data does not say unlimited i'm now going to put it back to 40 because i've downloaded everything now but when you're downloading just set it to unlimited and everything will be good i'm actually going to change that rolling cache now to 15 um and we're going to delete that because only got 84 gig left on that drive, so um, it's going to delete that and rebuild it. Now it says 25. Oh, I said 10. I said 15 to be honest, mate. You know, kind of listen, yeah. That's beautiful. That's fine. 15 gig. Apply and save, and then it rebuilds the cache. Beautiful. That's it, guys. Uh, so uh, completely now finally have installed the full microsoft flight simulator uh base game first uh tested it made sure it was working good then went in installed all the updates and now i'm about to go in and test it to make sure it's all working so uh let's go check it out Now, a word of warning um, for anybody. We're going to talk about add-ons now and the mods that are available. Um, Asobo are making the Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, and are still developing the core base of the simulator. Um, they're updating and concentrating on the world itself rather than, say, the planes and other systems within the sim. So um, it is very tempting to collect a lot of you know third-party mods um, but I would say do this with a word of caution don't keep your mods in your community folder every time you boot your sim up simply because we don't know when there's an update for the sim coming uh, they usually do announce the world updates but weekly updates they kind of happen you load up your sim and suddenly it's updating you know so I would say Keep your mods out of your community folder, and then when there is an update to the sim, wait until your mods have updated as well before continuing in. The thing is, the reason I'm saying this is because what I'm finding is that the Sobo released an update, either a world update or just a small patch update, and it tends to break the mods. It tends to mean that the developers now need to go back to their mods. Um, and and rejig them but in order for them to work with the current patch or the current mod. Uh, if you don't do this, then it's 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 like you're running your sim with mods that are uh, sort of 
looking for an older version or an older build of the sim and of course it's not matching and then it's crashing to desktop and it's breaking and or you can't run the sim and I think this is the main problem that a lot of people are facing so literally take your mods out when it's updating and then put them back in one by one um, to test to make sure each of them works before continuing to use the sim and then that way you know you've got a clean uh, sim, a clean working sim, and it ain't the fault of any of the mods. Um, and it, this is going to happen for like the next year until they finish these world updates, until they finish building the sim, because let's not forget, they're still making the sim. They haven't actually finished, it's not a finished product, they're still building the simulator. So once all this is finished, then people I think can start collecting mods and start building, you know, uh, a collection of, of, you know, different airplanes and airports and landscapes and additions to the sim, you know? Oh man, this looks gorgeous. Anyway, so there we go. Um, a few tips on tuning, uh, if, you, if you're interested. Um, I would probably say that if you're going into heavier airports, like say maybe New York or Los Angeles or London Heathrow, maybe you know tune down some some settings. Maybe you know don't have them as high because you know uh, there's going to be more objects being loaded into the sim, or there's more traffic, and so you want to compensate for that. You know, don't have one setting for everything you know almost kind of like fine-tune it to depending on where you're going in order to get the best out of it now if you're not that fussed about that literally just load into Heathrow Airport um, in like the Grand Caravan or the Citation uh, Cessna and fine-tune it to get you know your frame rate there and then no matter where you are in the world it will be uh, good do it in stormy weather, and um, you'll find that uh, no matter where you fly in the sim, you probably, most likely, will have the same frame rate wherever you go. If you lock your frame rate to a certain number, as soon as the CPU or the GPU or the sim has achieved that number for you, the rest of the performance of your PC goes into rendering the world. So you can have a few more higher settings you know, um, in your uh, setup, then if you um, if you didn't, if you try and get 60 FPS or higher, then you're probably going to have to tune a few things down. Um, I'm I'm actually quite happy with the way everything is. I just need to turn this off and on depending on if I'm streaming or recording. Other than that, it's all good. Um, so that's it really for this uh, video series. Uh, I'm just going to do a few short flights and get some video footage of various different places to put into the uh, end of this video. But thank you so much for staying with me. The sim is now fully installed. I've had no issues with it. Um, if, you, if you follow this, you most likely won't have any issues either. Um, but uh, thank you for watching and uh, take care. So just for those of you uh, who uh, were wondering what photogrammetry sort of difference does it look, uh, make everything look, well, this is uh, basically it. So we've just reached New York City, and only because I've turned on photogrammetry has the city actually shown up. Turning it off, the city has only sort of just begun to show in. So when you turn on photogrammetry, your buildings, uh, and there's more trees. Your buildings load in quicker, um, but there's also more trees. But these are all like done by the AI, so it does look better visually initially. You look at it and go, wow, look at all these buildings, look at all these trees. But they're basic shapes, some of them. They don't actually 
match, you know, um, what they should. And obviously, it, you can see New York from a far distance. It looks great from a distance, but if you sort of look and zoom in on these buildings, they're like basic generic shapes. And the closer you get to them, the more detailed they'll get. But it's still very weird. Like, it's still not right, basically. I don't think they've nailed the photogrammetry yet. Um, but this is what it does look like if you have it enabled. Um, now we're going to fly um, over. Don't know why that just won't stay out. Just goes back in by default rip this plane um, come on what are you doing just, no, whatever um, yeah so that that's what photogrammetry looks like so I'm now going to turn it off so you guys can actually see what it looks like turned off Okay, so we're back in and I've loaded now. I've turned off photogrammetry and as you can see here, uh, buildings just are <laughs> generic shapes really. Um, no longer do they have that extra little detail in them for the windows and stuff like that. But although as we do get closer, that will begin to fill in. But again, it's they are still generic shapes. It does lose that sort of individuality for each building but the closer you get the more detailed they do get performance wise I find that this is actually better for me um, because photogrammetry you're downloading on the fly all the, the area detail so therefore um, your, 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 your PC is managing your network card and your GPU um, whereas having it set with it turned off, it doesn't have to, you know, stream it as much on the fly. Obviously, it still is streaming, but not as much. So, um, I, f I just find it a little bit better um, for performance as well as the visuals. You know, although I mean, let's be honest, the visuals and photogrammetry, the fact that they all the buildings look you know very different from each other and more accurate that's way better you know but at the end of the day this still looks amazing you know I'm still a big fan of this sims visual look you know maybe not so much the flight the way the planes handle but the, the visual look yes so. and as long as you can get FPS as long as you can get FPS in all weathers then that's all that really matters isn't it but I'm happy with what I've got here the detail of these buildings is absolutely fine you know it's still good Radar I don't think I've been safe from crashes. Altimeter three zero decimal zero zero. Copy Cessna X ray Golf Sierra. Cessna X ray Golf Sierra contact New York approach on one two eight decimal eight. One two eight decimal eight Cessna X ray Golf Sierra. I think photogrammetry, when they when they resolve the issues, will be better. Like, it will be better. It's just, until they resolve those issues, I can't use it. It's, it just, I don't like the melted buildings look. I don't like the fact that everything looks apocalyptic until you've done a few flyovers and then it looks fine. Um, this is, this is, honestly, just as good. Still amazing. Approach 
approach Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra 300 feet. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra approach continue as planned. Altimeter 3 zero decimal zero zero. Approach Cessna oh, now Alpha you Sierra do it, dude. X-ray Golf Sierra. Now you do it. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Flaps. approach. Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Flaps. Through Bravo Airspace Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra contact New York approach on 128 decimal eight. I think there's an assisted. I think I've got some sort of assistance with my planes handling. New York I need to sort this out. Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra 200 feet. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra New York approach continue as planned. Altimeter tree zero decimal zero zero. Should we land it in the park? Yeah. Let's land in the park. The park's down this way. We'll soon find out if I've turned crashes off or not. photogrammetry it looks a lot different uh, the park looks so much different with photogrammetry turned off um, with it turned on there was actually a big bald patch in the middle of this uh, park which is now gone um, it's just a giant lake so anyway here we go full flaps let's land it How you do that, boys? I don't know why my brakes aren't working, so I'll just hit the parking brake. Which... Sorry about that. Which didn't actually work. There we go. Okay. There we go, boys. That's it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.